Hello, I'm Michael Pierce, and this is The Human Condition. Today our topic is how brain waves are measured. Brain waves can be measured with non-invasive electrical devices. We can take very simple tin and plastic electrodes and stick them on a person's head with a, basically a wax or a paraffin. We can also put them in a cap, a swim cap that a person wears on top of their head that has the spacing predetermined so the correct placement is on the head. And these simple, simple electrodes are usually given some kind of conducting gel or some kind of paste that allows them to conduct the electromagnetic waves. Naturally, all of us are releasing brain waves all the time, when we sleep, when we're awake. In fact, some of us make even more brain waves when we're asleep than when we're awake. So these brain waves naturally emanate out of our brain through our skull. They go right through our skull out into the world and they quickly dissipate. They dissipate with the law of squares, which has to do with how quickly does electromagnetic radiation reduce with distance. And it reduces quite a bit every increment of space that it leaves. It reduces quite rapidly, logarithmically it reduces exponentially it reduces as it comes out of your head. So it isn't very strong once it leaves your head. However, it's strong enough to be picked up by these electrodes. So what do these electrodes pick up? Well, they pick up non-ionizing radiation, which is electromagnetic fields. These are not photons. These are not necessarily x-rays. These are, these are simply electromagnetic waves. So they need to be generated by a certain kind of cell that will generate a dipole. So the cell has to have enough length. It has to have a positive end and a negative end. It can't be a spherical cell. There are lots of cells in the brain that are spherical, and there are lots of cells in the brain that are long and cylindrical, or, or at least have a, a length to them. In today's technology, picking up brain waves requires a dipole. It requires a split between the positive and the negative charge in order to generate an electric field that can make it to our electrodes and be picked up by our technology. Now, there are some new technologies that use different measurements of calculations of brain waves that may have come from smaller cells. But today I'm going to talk about the general EEG and QEEG and ERP collections. These are the collection of brain waves that are using the traditional technology of large cells that are long. And these large, long cells are called giant pyramidal cells of BETS. Because when you look at them under a microscope, they look like pyramids. They're huge and they're long and tall, and they separate their charge into a positive end and a negative end. And that creates a very easy electromagnetic field to leave the brain and come out. But we don't really pick up one brain cell at a time's brain waves. We have to have all these brain cells stacked together because the brain is a wavy surface. It's a lot like taking nylons and stuffing them into a balloon. And so the surface area of the brain is quite convoluted and wrinkled. And that wrinkly surface of the brain has all of these cells kind of stuck together. So the first thing is many of these, these uh, pyramidal cells are long and skinny and they're lined up with each other in parallel. So they make an electromagnetic field that magnifies itself with each other. And so you can pick up a much lar larger signal from multiple cells that are all lined up together. Now the problem is, as these cells are convoluted as they go through the brain, in, in some parts they're pointed upward, in some points they're pointed sideways, in some points they're pointed down because the brain's convoluted like this. The surface goes like this. So because the surface of the brain is wavy, the different radial nature of the cells point at a different location. Sometimes their electromagnetic field propagates directly out of the skull. Sometimes it aims sideways and comes out a different location. And we can triangulate where those locations are inside the skull using math and using some calculations and using multiple electrodes. But the general idea is that brain waves are measured by having a conducting gel or paste with a tin or gold or silver electrode that picks up the brain waves. It carries them through a wire into an amplifier into a computer. And then we can make tracings and ultimately images that compare to thousands or hundreds of normal people and compare your age and gender to be able to say, this is what your brain waves compare to other people. And maybe even this is how your brain waves compare to your own past analysis. And that's how brain waves are measured. Thank you.